Welcome. Uh, what I have here is 2y plus 4 equals 2 times y plus 2. So in solving this problem, I don't know why I ran for it. Just, I'm good. So what we need to do for this problem is simplify this to get our variable on the same side. And then remember, there's going to be two options of two options that we, three options, sorry. We can either have infinite many solutions, no solutions, or exactly one solution. Um, since I have one equation, I'm going to have one solution. Or infinite many or no solutions. However, so what we need to do first is I see parentheses. So that's automatically going to tell me, look for distributive property. Do I have a number that's being multiplied by my uh, parentheses? And yes. But before I even do distributive property, I see, can I simplify inside the parentheses? And since those are not like terms, I cannot simplify. So using a little Christmas colors, we'll solve the problem. So 2y plus 4, I can't simplify that at all, so I'm just going to rewrite it, equals 2 times y plus 2. So I have to make sure I do distributive property. 2 times y is 2y. 2 times 2 is a positive 4. Now I automatically look at this and I say, all right, I have the exact same thing on the left side and the right side. So it doesn't matter which number I plug in. I don't know. Let's try it. Let's say, well, let's try to think of what the solution is. Let's say the solution, actually, well, hold on. If I subtract now 2y to get it on both sides, you get 4 equals 4. Well, therefore, whenever you have a number equal to a number or a variable equal to another variable, you're going to have infinite many solutions. And because there's nothing else I can plug in, right? It doesn't say y equals a number because it doesn't matter what y equals. It's always going to be true. It's always going to be true because the left side is exactly equal to the right side, right? So you know this statement's true. So you know that that statement's true. Well, let's take a look at it. Let's plug in 1. Look what's happening. For each side, it doesn't matter. I'm both multiplying them by 2, and then I'm adding 4. 6 equals 6. Let's try negative 3. Two times negative three is negative six. Negative six plus four is negative two. Two times negative three is negative six. Negative six plus four is negative two. So it doesn't matter which number I plug in, you're always gonna have a solution. So you have infinite many solutions. Hopefully that makes sense for you. Thanks for watching.